Welcome everyone to my YouTube channel, Smoothie again, and today I'm going to solve a usefully step one new word question of the microbiology block. A two month old boy is brought to the clinic for irritability, boar feeding, and frequent vomiting. Weight is at the 15th percentile and head circumference is at the 96th percentile. Lung sounds are clear throughout and heart auscultation reveals no murmur. The abdomen is soft and non-distended. There is hepatosplenomegaly. Diffusely reduced muscle toll is present in all extremities. Fundoscopy reveals white, yellow, chorioretinal lesions in both eyes. MRI of the brain shows enlarged ventricles and scattered intracranial calcification. Which of the following is the most likely cause of this patient's condition? The correct answer here is C, which is in neutral infection. Because the classic triad of the congenital toxoplasmosis, which is the hydrocephalus, intracranial calcification, and chorioretinitis. We've got a mnemonic for the congenital infections, which is TORSH infections. T stands for toxoplasmosis, O for other infections, R for rubella, C for cytomegalovirus, and H for herbis simplex are acquired in utero due to transplacental transmission from an infected mother. Maternal infection may be asymptomatic or mild, but can severely affect the fetus, particularly when contracted early in pregnancy. Prolonged inflammation of the CNS during fetal development can lead to chronic inflammatory findings such as intracranial calcifications. Obstructive hydrocephalus can also occur as seen in this patient with ventriculomegaly, a large circumference and size of increased intracranial pressure, for example, vomiting and hypotonia. Chronic chorioretinal inflammation. Chorioretinitis produces white yellow retinal scars that are visible on fundoscopy. Other non specific findings that may raise the suspicion for in utero infection include growth restriction, hepatosplenomegaly due to fetal reticuloendothelial activation, and rash. Now we're going to summarize the key feature of congenital affections. We're going to start with toxoplasmosis. We've got a classic triad, which is chorioretinitis, hydrocephalus, and diffuse intracranial calcification. Secondly, we have syphilis, which is characterized by rhinorrhea, skeletal anomalies, and disquamating rash and bombs and toes. And then we have the rubella, which is characterized by cataracts, the definition of cataracts, which is the lens obesity, heart defect, for example, beta ductus arteriosus, and sensor neural hearing loss. Then we've got the cytomegalovirus, which is characterized by periventricular calcifications, microcephaly, which is the small head, and then sensor neural hearing loss again. Finally, we've got the herb assemblix virus, which is characterized by vesicular and ulcerative rash and those are my accounts and thank you for watching